And while you're doing that, I would like to take a few, few seconds to talk about the Redwood Forest Foundation's future from 2020 and beyond. As Kathy Moxon mentioned, Ruffy is in the process of completing a new strategic plan to establish a sustainable future for Ruffy and a model for working community forestry across the country. Many are surprised to know that there are one, more than 1 million acres of coast redwoods remaining in private hands in the state of California. Coast redwoods are the tallest and some of the oldest trees in the world. And they also sequester more carbon per acre than any forest in the world, including the Amazon rainforest. Of course, redwood forests also provide clean air and clean water to much of California. After all, forests are the lungs of the planet. Some of those 1 million acres will be restored and moved into reserves, but most of them need to continue to pay their way, producing wood products and jobs for local communities. That's where the Redwood Forest Foundation comes in. Our experiment is to acquire and manage these young redwood forests for sustainability and on a large watershed, watershed scale. That means building back the forest stands and restoring habitat and species to health while still producing jobs and wood products. This is an enormous challenge, but Ruffy now has 13 years of experience doing this in the USAL forest, making us a national leader. As I mentioned, the other thing that makes Ruffy unique is that we manage the, the forest with governance and engagement of the local communities that live there and depend on the forest, which we uh, are dedicated to, and we are dedicated to bringing the benefits of the, and the profits of the forest back to these local communities. So in summary, Ruffy is addressing climate change, <clears throat> is restoring large redwood forests to health, is continuing to produce wood products and jobs on a sustainable basis, is bringing, and is bringing the profits back to the local communities. In the next year, Ruffy plans to complete the acquisition of the 95 acre rice ranch, with Kat, which Kathy spoke about, partnering with local nonprofits to restore our watersheds and the coho streams, working with local tribes to establish a dedicated native acorn gathering site on the property, building trails, providing local educational programs, and in the future, we hope to practice our model on other lands. Now, many people say to me, why do you need charitable gifts when you have a big forestry business generating income? The answer is simple. All of the revenues from the USAL forestry operation are restricted for paying off our USAL forest debt and will be for years to come. So charitable gifts are essential for Ruffy to support all of the programs that you care about and that benefit our community, including restoration, development of forest products such as biochar, and of course other wood products, educational and citizen science projects, trail building, the development of the rice ranch, and any future land acquisitions. Now at this important and challenging time in the COVID world, all of us, myself included, support many causes. But I ask that you keep the health of the, plant, of the forests and the planet high on your list. Please stretch and make the largest contribution you can afford today to the Redwood Forest Foundation so that we can continue this important work uninterrupted. You can donate today at www.rffi.org. And please help us reach our goal of raising $100,000 from individual gifts by September 1st.